Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a fun video. I have essentially a part two of my recent Iran Hermes sandal unboxing. And I decided to try to protect the soles before I took these out to wear. So I'm gonna take you through how I decided to protect the soles and actually do it for you on camera here and let you know my first impressions as well. So you wanna check out my thoughts on how to protect the soles of these sandals. Definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new, thanks so much for checking this out. I am a full-time working mom, but in my spare time, I love making videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to reselling as well. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting, definitely check out my other videos linked below and please also consider hitting that subscribe button too. All right, so a lot of you probably have seen my recent unboxing of these Hermes around sandals. If not, I will link it down below in the description box. So these are my first shoes from Hermes and I have a great first impression so far. I just really love the look of these, but I have not worn them outside yet. And as you're hearing that video, I was toying with the idea of maybe trying to protect the soles before I took these out. This is a full leather sole in this really light color. So for sure it's gonna show wear, which I realize. But I thought if there's a way to easily protect the soles that's pretty inexpensive and convenient, you know, I might wanna try to do that. I know some people do take them to the cobblers and will put a more professional type of outsole on here. For me, I think it's probably not worth it for these pair of shoes, either based on time or extra money. So I decided to not go that route. But I decided to check out some easy kind of at-home type of sole protectors. So I checked out many different possible options for protecting your soles of designer shoes, and I came across this company called SoulGuard. I looked up other options too on Amazon and other places, kind of read um, some luxury type of blogs, and really didn't come across any other obvious selections. So I decided to go with this option. And this is how it comes in the mail. It just says Soul Guard and it has some instructions and some stickers on the back, which I will show you up close in a few minutes. So what I liked about Soul Guard is that you can do it at home. It's essentially just a sticker that you put on the sole of your shoe. Let me just get this out there that this is in no way sponsored by Soul Guard and this was definitely not gifted to me. They have no idea who I am. And I just decided to purchase this on my own and give you my honest, true opinion. So hopefully that will help you out and this will be really unbiased in that way. But what I liked about SoulGuard, at least on the limited reviews that I saw, is that they do offer pre-cut versions of these stickers for the soles for some of the most popular styles of designer shoes. So the Rons are one of them. So I really like the idea of not having to cut this out on my own because I think a lot of other options you'll see on Amazon and other places, you have to trace your shoe footprint and then cut it out and then stick it on yourself after that. So I like the idea of having it professionally cut so I don't have to worry about measuring and cutting. And you can also pick the size of your shoe, obviously. So these are in a size 37, so I could pick Oran sandal sticker in a size 37. So that's honestly what I liked about it, just really the pure convenience. So I decided to give it a try, placed an order, um, just so you know it's free shipping if it's over $30. A pair of uh, these guards cost $16.99. So you get two pieces or a pair for $16.99 for left and right. Um, so I decided to get two pairs because then I would be above $30 and would save on shipping. So that's what I decided to do. After I made that purchase, I realized that there is a three pack too, which saves you even more money in case you're curious. But I decided just to go with two pairs here and test them out and we'll see. If I like them, I may buy more in the future. So they do say that these particular sole protectors do not damage your leather soles and also do not increase the chance of slipping. So it provides a sole that is really not supposedly gonna cause slipping. We'll see about that, um, but that's what they claim. They also do recommend that you should use more than one layer on the bottom of your soles for the best results. They recommend two layers, in fact. So rather than buying just one pair, you would need to buy two pairs as I did, but then use two stickers on each sole. And the whole thinking is that it's easier to remove one of the stickers on top in case that gets damaged and you still have the one underneath protecting your sole. So we'll see about that, but that's what they recommend at least. 
So I'm excited to give this a try. I'm going to turn the camera angle around so I can show you up close how this looks and actually take you through putting one of these on. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to try to show you up close how I'm going to try to at least protect the soles of my beautiful new Hermes Arons with the sole guard items that I picked up. So here, of course, is the sandal up close, and I will not go into all the details of this, of course, because I've done this previously in my review. But I did decide to go ahead and try to protect these beautiful leather soles. Part of why I decided to bite the bullet and purchase these sole guards is that, as you can see, just with trying on, there are some watermarks and stains already on the leather. You can see right here, right here, and this is just with honestly just trying them on. That's it. I didn't even walk around with them at all. And obviously, these are shoes, like I mentioned before. It's not a huge deal because they're going to get dirty. But especially because this is a full leather sole, plus it's a light colored leather sole, I know that it's going to get damaged so, so quickly just based on this little experiment I did. So I decided to go ahead and, yes, try these sole guards out and see if they will work for me. So the first thing you want to have to do here is remove this little sticker here because I don't want that on the bottom of my sole. So I'm going to try to quickly take that off. So I really don't like when shoe companies do things like this. Although it's nice that they tell you that it's fully leather. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't like it because look what happens. It leaves a little bit of a residue on there. And I mean, that's not really not that necessary. I may know that it's leather. Some shoes will write that it's leather, you know, somewhere on the soles elsewhere, which is fine. But, you know, I just don't like it all that much. Plus, it's hard to take off. So if you have some nails just done like I did, um, you know, I hate trying to wreck my nail to get these little stickers off. Just a little side commentary. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I think it's kind of unnecessary. So I have that unnecessary little mark there. Again, it's on the sole of it, so I will get over it. But um, I cleaned the bottom here as best I could. And of course, the sole guard works best if you start off with an unworn, clean sole. So essentially, this is unworn, so I decided to go ahead and put the sole guards on right now. So here's how they came packaged. So honestly, the packaging is nothing special. I don't really know what I was expecting, but I think when you're used to buying a lot of luxury items, maybe I expected a little bit more of a nice packaging, but it did just come in a little kind of manila envelope, just a standard envelope with really nothing else inside but this little package. So it says Soul Guard here, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So it's pretty sticky, so I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors here. Here's what comes in the package. So the first is this little item here. And it says Soul Guard, but it also has the steps. So as you can see here, step one is going to be clean the undersides of soles of dust and grime, which I kind of did already. Really, it's unworn. Step two is going to be to peel off partially the sole guard sticker from the tip and place it on the tip first without applying pressure. And then step two again, or maybe this should be step three, which is kind of funny, but it says step two, <laughs> slowly peel away the rest of the sole guard sticker and match the outlines eventually, should be evenly. Squeeze away any air bubbles that you may have during this step. Okay. So impressions, first off, are honestly not that great. Um, I hope the product performs well because impressions of this little guide are really not that great. I mean, come on, this should stay step three. And also this should say, match the outlines evenly, I believe, instead of evently. So it's just these little attention to details that, I don't know, make me a little bit worried about a company like this, honestly. Um, but, you know, hopefully the product performs, in which case I will forget about all these little typos and grammatical errors because if the product performs well. That's the main thing I care about here, obviously. But yeah, not the best first impressions uh, here. All right, but nonetheless, it sounds pretty straightforward. So just so you know, I did purchase two sets. So I got 
the size 37 for the Arons. So there should be four pieces, and there are here, of these clear plastic looking um, guards here. And they did offer a three pack, or three pairs, which I didn't notice till I already checked out. But there is a little bit of a savings with the three pack. I decided just to go with two. The main reason I went with two, honestly, is because I wanted free shipping. So it was free shipping over $30. So I believe each of these was $16.99. So I need to buy two to get over $30 mark. And I don't know about you all, but I absolutely hate paying for shipping unless I really, really have to, such that I will buy more items so that I can get free shipping, which is probably not the best idea. But that's what I decided to do here. I bought two sets of this. I figured that there is a very good chance I will be adding more Arons to my collection, so I will just save one pair for a future pair of sandals that I purchase. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna put on one set. They do recommend considering buying, or putting on, I should say, two sets on each pair, meaning that on each shoe, you would put two, so two layers on each shoe. That could be just a marketing thing, honestly, but why they say that's important is that it provides extra protection such that if you have a double layer here and something nicks the first layer, you're able just to pull off the first layer and leave the second layer on the shoe still. So the recommendation really is provided because they want to add extra element of protection in my opinion. I'm just gonna put on one layer, honestly, and see if that works on these pair of uh, rods. And as I mentioned earlier, it is really nice because I was able to pick up the exact shoe size for the exact pair of shoes. So I don't have to cut this uh, on my own. They have some other universal guards where you can measure and cut it for your particular sole, especially if they don't offer that particular version pre-cut. But it's nice that the Rons are popular enough such that they do offer it pre-cut in the size that you want. So I was able to order the actual Oran size 37 stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the sole of this shoe here, which is my right side. And it looks like it honestly fits pretty well. I mean, it's not a perfect fit, as you can see, but I think it'll fit pretty well. The quality, eh, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. It's just like a plain, thin sticker. I sure hope that this performs well, but we will see. Um, in terms of how slick this is, they claim that this does not increase the slickness of your shoe. It does feel a little slick, but it's not as slick probably as the leather itself. So I think that's true that it won't increase um, the odds of your foot slipping based on the sole. But again, I will test this out and let you know. So I think this is going to be pretty easy to apply, but let me go ahead and give it a try here. Okay, so I would have appreciated a little area where I could easily grip the back off, but I see a little knob here, so I want to try maybe here. So as you can see, there's no easy way to take this off. Okay guys, so I had to, believe it or not, turn off the camera so I wouldn't lose my battery because this took me a ridiculous amount of time to be able to detach it from the back. I think I just got a little bit of it up now after fumbling with this for so long. So this honestly is super frustrating. I don't have a great first impression, honestly, of what I'm seeing so far because there's no easy way to take the sticker off. I'm essentially damaging the front here by having to fumble with it so much it's super frustrating. A little pull tab or something would be super helpful or an easy way to take it off the back. Plus, I mean, honestly, how it's cut isn't even a perfect cut. There are a lot of raw edges um, on this particular cut too. So I don't know, not a great feeling, but I'm gonna try them out. So again, what the instructions said to do was to try to start with a tip and finally I got a bit of it up after a horrible struggle and I'm going to try to slowly pull away the sticker here. Okay, so I pulled off a good section of it here. So I'm just going to try to apply starting with the tip first here. See 
how it goes. And then slowly they say work down, removing any bubbles. So, even though it wasn't cut perfectly and isn't really to the edge of the shoe, it does really not matter too much, honestly, because it's clear. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest of it down and apply it. I'm just going to try to remove some of the air bubbles here, but overall, I will say once I finally got it on the shoe, this actually looks okay. I think it went on overall pretty smoothly. It's not the perfect application, but hopefully it does the trick to just protect the sole just a little bit more than if I didn't have this. So here's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it's really shiny now and it goes to almost the edge. It does fit the sizing pretty well, although it's definitely not a perfect cut. And again, the biggest issue I have is that it is so hard to get off the backing, honestly. But that's what it looks like. So I will test this out. Supposedly this doesn't make it more slick. It does feel slick, but uh, I will wear this around and see what I think and let you guys know. But, you know, it makes me feel better. At least I did something to try to protect these and we'll see if it actually works or not. I will say, because it's not cut exactly perfectly, there is a little bit of the edge here. You probably can't see that, but a little bit of the sticker edge does come around here. So... I will test it out. Um, I'm a little worried about that because I worry that maybe things will get stuck in the adhesive that's exposed here. There's a little bit of extra adhesive here, so I'm not thrilled about that either. All right, well, it at least applied smoothly, so yeah, I'll test it out and we'll see. Okay, guys, so... That was a little bit rough, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I have some frustrations with this item, as I told you. So you can tell this is unbiased review because my first impressions honestly are not great. Um, I think that the professionalism is not so great so far with what I've seen in terms of, you know, the spelling errors, the typos on the instructions that they sent out. Also in terms of the precision of the cut of the sticker is not great. There are jagged edges on it. I just would have expected a little bit more for the price point of these guards. Given that they're just a sticker, to charge, you know, $17 for a sticker is a little bit pricey in my opinion, so I would have hoped to have a little bit more of a professional cut of the sticker at least. But the biggest gripe I have, as you saw, is that it took forever to take the backing off of the sticker. I mean, you would think there'd be some way to have an easy peel off mechanism here. Um, you know, I actually ruined my nails, I think, just trying to dig in there and get it off. I tried to use tweezers off camera. I did so many things to try to take the sticker backing off and to no avail. It just took forever before I finally got it. So, you know, that's the biggest issue I have, at least based on first impressions. I also do worry, as I mentioned, that the sticker isn't perfectly cut for the shoes, such that there's a little bit of an overhang of the adhesive. And I worry there's gonna be some extra collection of dirt and you know things on that sticker adhesive, which won't look good on the shoe. Um, it's not a whole lot of overhang, so I hope that's not an issue, but I will let you know, of course. So 
Those are my first impressions, not all that great, but I sure hope it performs well. I'm gonna test it out. They say it lasts for at least 10 wearings, which is pretty decent, so I will let you know going forward what I think about the Iran sandals, but also, maybe more importantly, what I think of Soul Guard. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.